Ellison Assisted Living of Minot takes pride in putting residents first and offering cozy comforts from home. Sarah Kohlberg got to speak with a resident named John about one of his most prized possessions that is on display. Tell me the story again about that beautiful saddle that's on display. Well, my dad, he come from the Ukraine in 1909. He was 19 years old. You got into leather working because of him? Yeah, that. That's all hand sewed. Oh my. And he showed me how to hand sew. So, uh, how old is that saddle? Well. Because oh. how old were you when you made it? 18. You were 18. And you're going to be celebrating your 93rd birthday in yeah. October. But that's so cool. And it's awesome that you have it on display here at Ellison. Yeah. I've been thrown out of that saddle, are you? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I, that big that I can't admit that I've been thrown out of it, but the worst was I read three times going backwards with that. Oh, not with the same horse, I hope. No, it was different horses. <laughs> so did you did you break horses? Yeah, I used to break horses. So in that picture, how old are you, do you think? Oh, well, the saddle, I was 18 when I built the saddle, and the saddle is in this, so I suppose I was 19 or 20. Mm-hmm. I suppose it may be 20. It still looks so beautiful. Here at Ellison, we take the resident first philosophy. And to me, it, it means that, you know, this is our residents' home first, it's our work second, and that's how we treat them. This is their home, this is where they live, and we should give them that respect. Well, that's awesome. Uh, and it, is, it feels very homey in here, which I think is, is great. What would you share with our viewers about if somebody's curious about how to know when to have that conversation with their parent or loved one about when it's time to maybe step into an assisted living facility? Sure. You know, uh, studies have been out that say seven out of 10 older adults will, will need assisted living in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to create a better image that assisted living is a place for our seniors to retire, mm -hmm. not a place for them to just have uh, at end of life. It's a time for them to really flourish and have the socialization, the, um, the healthy meals, three meals a day, um, the lifestyles uh, programs that we have for their activities, keeping them engaged. Um, we really want them to thrive in those later years. And, um, you know, getting people to look into this sooner um, if they're not able to maintain their home or drive, or maybe they're starting to forget to take some medications, it may be a time to look into uh, a community like this. Gotcha. So I, I know that most of the residents here, they do drive and there's lots of activities. We, we spoke with one last time and she was like, the cookies are great. She's like, we're snacking all the time. All the time, <laughs> yeah. They've got food whenever they want it. So. Which is great. Um, so Patrick, what would you say um, are some of the things that you've seen with questions that people have about, about Ellison? I think to touch on your original point, when is the right time to have these conversations? And the when is going to be when, you know, you notice that your loved one might need that extra attention or that help. Uh, in an environment that we can provide a, a stimulating experience for them and provide the care that they would receive anywhere else just at a very much higher level. And we just have to show this beautiful photo of John, the resident we were speaking with about his saddle. Here he is with his wonderful wife of 69 years. And he says, Ellison has everything. The only thing he's missing is his wife, who he lost. And just a beautiful photo. Thank you to um, his daughter, Yvonne, for submitting this photo to us. And to learn more about Ellison Assisted Living of Minot, call for a tour 701-839-3320. And we do want to mention that Ellison has a very fun Mother's Day brunch coming up on Sunday. So that's happening, I believe, at 10 a.m. to noon. Um, but you can definitely check out 
their Facebook page for more information on that Mother's Day brunch. Sounds like a good time, yeah. folks.